When you see you on that, you make Hollyoaks look so glamorous. Now, we don't think of Hollyoaks being glamorous. So either Hollyoaks is glamorous or Dallas wasn't as glamorous as we thought it was. <laughs> so which, what, what is the reality of appearing in soap on telly? I was trying to follow that one. I was trying to follow you. I'm so yeah. happy mm. you said that. I thought, what is he getting to say? Um, I, I think it's, it's an attitude. You bring glamour to it or... Well, you do Whatever. bring glamour. You light up that screen. You really Thank do. Thank you. Thanks. I had a great time. Loved all the people. I had to say very bad things to very lovely people. <laughs> <laughs> you do it so well. <laughs> and so I said to David, David Easter, I said, you rancid dog. I mean, yeah. I, I have never called anyone a rancid dog That's in quite real good life. Insight, I thought actually. it was very good. And it goes on and on. Mm. It's like I'm punching him in the chest. It was very dramatic. So you, you obviously loved your experience the first time. You wouldn't be back. But what was it the first time then that made you go, well, that would be interesting, I'll go and do that? Well, you know, people think that uh, why actors choose what they choose. But the key is we're invited. It's money. Like, is money the key? No. <laughs> no, it is, honestly, it isn't. You have to love the script and you have to see, can I breathe a little magic into this or not? So, like this year, I've turned down a lot of things because it was, they, they weren't, Good enough. Right. When I heard about um, about Tabitha Maxwell Brown, mm -hmm. loved her name, it's a great name, and I said, "Wait a minute, she's very dysfunctional in a very much more dysfunctional family." You arrived in the UK, and I alluded to the fact that it was your birthday when you arrived in the UK. Yes. And I was watching a documentary last night about Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher, mm -hmm. and it was a behind the scenes of their life. And the interesting thing about it was that although they're big stars, their life wasn't very glamorous. Their life was just as ordinary as everybody else's. So tell us how ordinary, and it doesn't get much more ordinary than this, <laughs> folks, your birthday celebrations were last year. <laughs> well, I was invited uh, by Brian Kirkwood to uh, come to England. I happened to be in Dallas, Texas for a fashion event. And I got on the plane, it was my birthday. I landed in, in uh, Heathrow. And I was whisked away, got a coffee and whisked away in a car, driven by a wonderful um, part of the crew, man on the crew, Gareth, my dear f new friend. He's my new best friend. So we're driving along and I said, Gareth, I'm really hungry and it's my birthday. Do you think we could stop somewhere and have a little yes. food? Yes. So he pulled into a truck stop. Right. Is that what you call them here? Service station. Service, Service yeah. station. Yeah. With See. some of uh, the very large... Uh, sort of shopping, eating yeah. place. And so we, we got out of the car and he walked me into this place. We chose sandwiches with wrapped in, you know, yeah. sort of take cardboard. it. Cardboard. Yes, cardboard and saran wrap or and whatever. Do people you recognize you? Do yes. They, and their mouths hang open. They sort of can't. They don't. I walked very fast. I had, I had a sandwich in my <laughs> mind. So hungry. we bought sandwiches and <laughs> chips and we got back in the car and he sang happy birthday to me. And I thought, this is the most unusual birthday <laughs> I think I've ever had. Yeah. I have no idea where we were. We were somewhere between Heathrow and Liverpool. You know, <laughs> driving. I have Gareth, no idea. Gareth will probably tell that story. Nobody will believe. Oh, they they? So you never <laughs> guess what? I sat in the car with Linda going on her birthday and going, yeah, right, because you did, Gary. Yeah, we had little sandwiches and chips. It was hysterical. We had the best day. And we bonded that moment. You so. also bonded, I believe, with Elizabeth Taylor. And Hollywood royalty and stars don't get much bigger than that. <laughs> what, would you, what was your relationship with Liz Taylor? Well, I adored her, and um, I didn't put up with her nonsense. Um, it, well, I have to tell you a very quick story uh, that has a little bit to do with, uh, with makeup, etc. Um, on a Sunday, my friend called, and he said, we're coming out to see you. Um, and it, he, he said, I'm bringing a friend and her assistant. And I said, fine. fine. Uh, he, I said, when will you be here? It's 45 minutes. And I said, and who's the friend? She said, Elizabeth Taylor. And my mouth had dropped. There was silence on the phone. I said, you're coming for lunch. You're bringing Elizabeth Taylor and her assistant, and you'll be here in 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Not what you want to hear on a Sunday. <laughs> and and especially, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, <laughs> this is not. I had jeans and a T-shirt on or something. So I thought, oh, my God. And I live in the country, so no, no place to go to shop or whatever. Anyway, I threw on a pot of pasta. I grabbed spinach from the garden, etc. So we're all sitting down eating. I'm still in awe. Elizabeth is at my dining room table. Yeah. So 
Uh, during the lunch, um, the assistant sat next to me and, and said, um, went like this, like I had something. And I thought, oh dear, I've got spinach here. And then a few minutes later, there was like, the, and I thought, oh my God. <laughs> I, I thought, what have I done? I felt like I just dumped a, a bowl of pasta on myself. Anyway, long story, very short. They all left, they were charming. She was absolutely lovely. And they left and I ran into the bathroom and I realized that I had put on a peeling mask. <laughs> Sitting at my table with this, I thought was moisturizer because oh. I had no and time. It to oh. roll off. And it was rolling, peeling yeah. off. Bit by bit. Bit by bit. Generating in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> and the most beautiful woman in the world oh. sitting at oh. my table. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.